Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best printer for art prints. Starting at number 5. Canon PIXMA TS6320. Typical of Canon 5 ink printers over the years, this one runs on a pigment-based black cartridge for rich, solid text in document printing, along with dye-based cyan, magenta, yellow and black inks for photo output. Better still, you can keep plain paper for document printing in the internal cassette, and load sheets of variously sized photo paper into the upright rear feeder, as and when you want to create photo prints. The four dye-based inks for photo printing naturally have a smaller gamut, or color space, than in Epson's competing photo printers that use six dye-based inks, but, even so, the Canon's color rendition looks very lifelike and natural for everything from portrait skin tones to vibrant landscapes. The motorized output tray adds a touch of automation and the onboard controls are simple and intuitive, based on an OLED screen. As usual with document slash photo printers, there's a built-in scanner, ideal for creating photocopies, but this model lacks a memory card slot for direct photo printing, although it does have built-in Bluetooth. Coming at number 4. Canon Image Prograph Pro. If you're looking specifically to print photos and want the best print quality, get the Canon Image Prograph Pro 300. This professional-grade photo printer produces incredibly detailed, vibrant, and color-accurate photos. It supports borderless printing in paper sizes up to 13 inches by 19 inches. It uses 9 ink cartridges, some of which are photo cartridges that work only on glossy photo paper, meaning you won't have to worry about depleting the photo ink if you want to print normal documents or reports. Its cost per print is decent, it's very cheap to print in black, but the color cartridges are expensive. Unfortunately, this is a print-only model, so you'll have to get a separate scanner to digitize photos. If you find the Canon too expensive, get the Epson EcoTank Photo ET8550 instead. It also produces amazing photos. The main difference is that it's less color accurate than the Canon, as it tends to oversaturate the colors to make them appear more vibrant. However, it has a scanner, and it's much cheaper to maintain because its refillable ink tanks yield significantly more prints. Like the Canon, it supports various paper sizes up to 13 inches by 19 inches. At number 3. Epson Workforce Pro. Our best budget pick is the Epson Workforce Pro WF7840. This all-in-one has many connectivity options, including USB, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet, and it can also print directly off a USB flash drive. The scanner has an automatic feeder and supports automatic duplex scanning, making it easy to process multi-page and double-sided documents. It produces very sharp documents and prints relatively quickly for an inkjet model. For photo printing, it has a decently wide color gamut, however, its color accuracy is just okay, and there's a lot of grain in the photos. Again, this printer's main downside is its low page yield. You can only get about 350 black and 300 color prints from a single set of ink cartridges. The cartridges are cheap, so the cost per print isn't an issue. It's inconvenient because you'll likely need to interrupt your print jobs to replace the cartridges. Lastly, there's only a small price difference between this model and the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740 we recommend above. If you can afford to spend a little more up front, it's worth getting the HP, as you'll save more money in the long run due to its high page yield. Alternatively, you can save some money with the Epson Workforce Pro WF7820 variant. It's slightly cheaper than the WF7840 but has one input tray instead of two. Number 2 of my list. HP OfficeJet Pro. If you want something similar but cheaper, get the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740, the best large format printer in the mid-range category. In some ways, this printer is better than the pricier Epson EcoTank ET15000, as it produces slightly sharper documents, has better color accuracy, and supports single-pass duplex scanning. Additionally, its input trays hold a total of 500 sheets of paper, 
almost double that of the Epson, which is great for large print jobs as you won't have to refill the tray as often. With all that said, it has one significant downside compared to the Epson, page yield. It uses regular ink cartridges instead of a refillable super tank, and as a result, it yields far fewer prints, around 1100 black and 650 color. Those are still respectable yields for a printer that uses cartridges, but it's far from what the Epson can achieve. Its cost per print is still very low, though, as the cartridges are inexpensive. Connectivity options include the usual Wi-Fi, USB, and Ethernet, and you can also print directly off a USB flash drive. And number 1. Epson EcoTank ET. The best 11 by 17 printer we've tested is the Epson EcoTank ET 15000, an all-in-one inkjet printer. This super tank model feels sturdily built, with a design allowing easy access to the ink tanks and sheet rollers, making maintenance straightforward. It has many connectivity options, including USB, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet, as well as support for Apple AirPrint and Mopria print service, so you can print from your iOS and Android mobile devices without installing any drivers or a third-party app. The scanner has an automatic feeder to process long multi-page documents, although it's a little slow and doesn't support duplex scanning. Printing-wise, this model produces sharp, detailed documents whether you print in black and white or color. Photos look detailed and colorful, albeit slightly grainy. As for its page yield, a full tank gets you nearly 7,000 prints, and on top of that, the replacement ink bottles are relatively cheap, so you won't need to spend much on maintenance. Its printing speed is good, it's fast with black documents but slow with color documents and photos. One thing to note is that while it supports automatic duplex printing, it doesn't work when printing tabloid size. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.